Hello, welcome to the sideboard here at the Star City Games Standard Open in Richmond, part of the SCG Tour, brought to you by Ultimate Guard, Okie Dokie Dice. I'm Nick Miller alongside Zach Kanner, and you are playing the Nickel Bolas theme deck for oh, yeah. this weekend. Uh, a lot of people, when Nickel Bolas God, a Dragon God was spoiled, were like, this is it. It's time for Grixis. You know, we've tried it before with the previous Nickel Bolas. We've tried it before with all these removal spells. But now we're doing it, and we're doing it for real. And uh, how, how do you like the deck? I like the deck against a lot of the format right now. It's kind of weak against Nexus, which is the issue, which we'll get to in the sideboard. We have a fixing. But against all the decks that beat Nexus, which I was kind of expecting to play against this weekend, it just crushes. It crushes against the aggro decks because it has removal spells from two to five. And it has a bunch of threats that's able to close the games fast with, like, Nickel Bolas itself. Um, you know, against Red, like, the Esper decks have a little trouble closing the game, like I was saying, and 4-4 is like a fast clock back with a bunch of removal spells. So, I mean, I, I like the deck and it's been testing really well for me. And Grixis has been a deck, or a Grixis mid-range has been a deck that people have been trying to make work for a while. Is this finally above the mark of where it needs to be because now you've got extra removal spells, you've got different planeswalkers, that kind of stuff? Yeah, so I think a lot of times the Grixis decks back in the past, they were missing life gain and like having, you know, Enter the God Eternals, gaining four life is huge. And then you have Nicol Bolas, uh, Dragon God, which I think is on par with Teferi when it comes to snowballing effects. If you're on tap with it, there's a good chance, you, you know, you're two for one every turn you activate it. And if your opponent ever has another Planeswalker, even your own, like Liliana, you're able to just make a big mass of tokens and then just kind of swarm them that way. So he's very flexible. I think he was like kind of, he's like the new piece that's holding the deck together to actually combat the mid-range decks better. Right, and one thing, uh, you know, the Grixis decks did have issue with was the mono red deck, but now you have more life gain, because before it was just Moment of Craving, yeah. but now Enter the Gods Eternal, I think this is the card, you know, Jerry's written a couple articles about this card specifically already, has it been pulling its weight? Yeah, I mean, like, it's flexible against, like, the mid-range decks, because a four damage is a lot, and it kills a lot of things at that point, but just, like, gaining four life and dealing four and getting a creature back, that's kind of, like, on par with Absorb, but you counter two spells that way. This cousin does the same thing by gaining four life and killing a spell at the same time, and, you know, there's cool interactions if, like, your opponent explores and you have to mill something that they wanted to keep or surveil it, they kept on top, you know, has some flexibility in that, too, or you can just mill yourself if you're digging for something as well. So I think it's, like, just all around really good. Right, and it's interesting you have all these, uh, kind of corollary, corollaries to the Esper deck because that's where the Grixis deck had been lacking in these two couple areas that we've mentioned. Uh, so we fill the deck out, you have Thief of Sanity, four mana, Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, and this was a card that tried to see play when it was originally printed, but now I think it has a real home. And how, how, how hard does this card hit? I mean, whenever it resolves, it's a 2-4 no matter what. Like, they, they're gonna lose a card and then they have to spend a card to kill it. And, you know, forget if it ever flips, because plus two, drawing two cards, and if you have the other nickel bullets, and you just start chaining them. I know, I had a cool interaction where I played that, I was able to flip it, get back nickel bullets to Dragon God, and then with his reanimate ability, and then kill another creature. So I just board wiped <laughs> them anyways, and just all just with seven mana by flipping them. And, and like I said, a four, a four four is a good clock too. All right. Then of course we have, you know, kind of the headliner beside Nickel Bolas, New Liliana, Dreadhorde General. This card we've been seeing pop up in the Soltai decks and the, the Demir midrange, but now it has a, another home in the Grixis. Has it been performing well? Yeah, so the Grixis never really had a good wrath, right? You had Cry and you had Ritual of Soot. But because we have so many removal spells through like the two to four drop, well, two to five at this point too, this kind of acts like a wrath. You're able to pick off like the, like the smaller creatures and then just slam Leon and Minus. And then on an empty board, you're gonna win with all your other Planeswalkers and removal spells that you're gonna be able to keep up with them. Right, so the actual removal spells we got for this deck, Tyrant Scorn and Angrath's Rampage here, all doing a couple of different things. Yeah, um, Angrath, you know, Rampage is very flexible for us. Uh, my opponent had treasure maps, had immortal sons. I'm able to kill that, which is huge. And then, besides against Tamiyo, able to deal with the planeswalker for just two mana and hold up another spell, be able to double spell with it is very good as well. Right, so this is a, uh, you know, mid-rangey, controlish deck. But one thing that the Grixis decks have suffered with as we'll move to your sideboard now are these enchantments that are in a bunch of the, the top decks. So you have Wilderness Reclamation out of Nexus, Spearmoon of Frenzy out of Red. You don't really have an answer to that in your main deck. So now we move to the sideboard where it's pretty clear what you're trying to do here. You've got a bunch of Duress, Negate, Disdainful Stroke. This all seems pretty clear cut. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a concession to enchantment, so we just have to load up on all these discard spells post board as well on negates. I mean, Duress pulls its weight against Burn anyways, because you're able to take a spell and then hold the negate for something like that as well. So they both intertwine with each other there, and then, you know, Disdainful Choker is good against the Nexus decks as well by itself, so if it hits an enchantment, that's really what matters too. And how bad is the, the the Nexus matchup? And how much does it improve with the sideboard? Uh, I mean, I think it's almost close to unwinnable, I gotta say, with the game one, but you could still games with Thief, because Thief is like that good if it goes unchecked for a couple turns, and then you will, like you dwindle down the resources with both Nickel Bolses. Um, post boy gets a little bit better, you know, like I said, with Duresses and Disdainful Strokes, and then like you have uh, Dreadhorde Invasion on our sideboard that acts as, um, I guess like a Bitter Blossom effect. It's not quite Bitter Blossom, but you have to play like Protect the Queen package with mm -hmm. it now. You're able to like protect it and then counter things while you still apply pressure on the board by just doing nothing. And then having like a end of turn commence uh, the end game that we have in that matchup just to put out like a 6-6 six, six out of nowhere. You can clock them pretty fast because, you know, I've seen that they bought out the uh, Root Snares. Yeah. So you're able to attack through a lot of times anyways. Okay. Then the other cards, uh, you just have your extra Enter the God's Eternal, your commence the end game as you mentioned, and then you have your just extra removal spells here. Two more Moment of Craving, I imagine, for red and mono white. And hero decks, too. You just want the extra, you know, because a lot of them are X2s, so you want to be able to kill the hero on spot and Thief of Sanity and just problematic cards like that as well. Sure. And then the Ritual Soda, as you mentioned, is your kind of wrath. A good catch all. Right. So I've been asking everyone we're talking to this weekend. We've had our hands on these cards for about a week, if you include Arena and everything. Yeah. How do you like the format, and, you know, where do you think it's going? Uh, I love the format, actually. Like, no. Nexus aside, I think the format's really fun and it's, it's very interesting having all these planeswalkers and a lot of these new decks coming up, which, you know, it's fun testing and learning different, like, just decks that you can play against and different strategies. Uh, overall, I mean, I've been enjoying the format. All right, well, people have been wanting Grixis. I think we finally have a, a real shell for the yep. deck now. You're uh, four and one so far, so yep. we wish you the best of luck going cool. forward. Thank you, Zach. Stay tuned to StarCityGames.com all week long for the action here in Richmond.